we are going home this may be it today may be the day tomorrow may be the day this this video may not even reach you because we may be gone i may be taken as i'm taking this video you know what i mean like that's how close we are that's how serious this is and in all seriousness this is a very serious moment in history you see everything unfolding right you see everything from a biblical standpoint but the person next to your family member absolutely sees nothing we are in the season. We've been in the season. We're at the end of the season. Man, I'm telling we are so close with the getting out of here, man. Time is running out. Jonathan Brettner wrote a provocative article titled, How Can You Not See It? A lot of people, especially Christians, they don't want to hear what's going on. They don't want to hear anything about the rapture. They don't want to hear anything about the Antichrist. They don't want to hear anything about what's going on today. They just rather be like an ostrich and put their head in the sand and just wait until everything clears. The problem is nothing is going to clear. It's going to get worse. How can you not see the fulfilling of Bible prophecy? It is, is it what, biblical illiteracy? Indifference or busyness that keeps the majority from acknowledging the obvious? Folks, time is definitely running out. Even nature is screaming that Jesus is coming. The rebirth and prospering of the nation of Israel. The rise of artificial intelligence, AI. The preparation of the coming digital currency. The use of a pandemic to hasten global government. The rise of the mark of the beast technology. Apostasy in the church in the past 60 years. The scoffing of Bible prophecy. The exponential rise of evil. And the list goes on and on and on. The world's a mess, and that's putting it lightly. where you are not only saved, but you're gonna go up in the rapture is like a luxury. That is an amazing gift that we have. So just stay grateful that that you're in you're in that generation that, that's going to be in the rapture. I mean, and it and it is literally in a minute. We the apocalypse in the seven year of Jacob's trouble is literally starting this year. I mean it's this is it. I made a video the other day sharing something that the Lord had shown me saying that I am now 99.9% .9 confident that the rapture is this year. After watching a video by Tyler with Generation 2434 on YouTube the other night, I now know that not only is this the year, but the date that the rapture will happen before. I do not know the day or the hour. But this old tired lady has been asking Jesus for, Jesus for 27 years. Lord, when are you coming? How long, oh Lord, how long? How much longer, Lord, will it be? This is the year. Years ago, the Lord began to open my eyes and under, giving me understanding to the interpretation of the dream that I had had. And I have gone from 99.9% .9 confident to 100. But I'm telling you, it's before September 18th of this year. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back this year. And if you have not yet placed your faith in Christ alone for salvation, trusting and knowing that he died on the cross for your sins and three days later rose again to pay your sin debt in full, then you need to cry out to him this evening and simply tell him, Lord, I believe that you died for me. Thank you for dying for me. Please forgive me for my sins and save me. It is that simple. If you truly believe it and place your faith in what he did on your behalf, you will be saved and you will not be left behind if you do it quickly. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.